Chapter 5, The Princess and the Party. You've just told Faye that the house party preparations have hit a snag. Just how big a party problem are we talking about? Well, we don't have any alcohol. Oh no. What do you mean? I thought you were going to get the drinks. I tried, but I was a little busy between cleaning the living room, front hallway, back hallway. I thought I'd come across your wine cellar while cleaning, uh, but I just couldn't figure out where it is. That's because it doesn't exist. I hate to break it to you, but most ordinary people don't have wine cellars. Then where on earth do you get alcohol? Um, you go to a store and buy it with money? I have to put the finishing touches on this place, and, um, but I can think of someone who would probably love to uh, give you a lift. Are you suggesting I text Devin? Mm, you said it, not me. You pull up Devin's number and try to ignore the butterflies in your stomach because you begin to type. Up for a road trip? Number three is a no-go for me. With you? Do you even have to ask? Of course. I'll be stealing your whole afternoon. Can't steal what I freely give. So where are we going? I need drinks for the Delta's house party. I need them five minutes ago. Say no more. I'll be right over. He said yes, and he's coming over right now. Oh my god, he's coming over right now. Oh, how do I look? Do I smell like floor wax? You wax the floor? I wanted to be thorough. Okay. Of course he did. You look and smell fine, but there's plenty of time to change if you want to look extra cute. Great call. I can pick out a party look while I'm at it. You rush upstairs and frantically look through Daisy's closet. My goodness, how could Daisy stuff this cute little number in a drawer? Diamond choice. Choose this look. Cute, I, I guess we'll go with that. That's one word for it. Not bad if I do say so myself. I hope Devin agrees. Just then, you hear a faint knock from downstairs. Safia calls up to you. Did someone order a guy in a jacket? Devin. As you head downstairs, the other girls call out from their respective rooms. Have fun. Make sure to get lots of booze. And a man tequila for shots. Could you get some Vermouth and bitters for cocktails? I'd like a cold brew with extra ice and more frozen mice for Poppy. Can I get mice at a grocery store? Oh, no. I thought we were calling out things we wanted. Hmm. I'd like a waifu. No? Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Xavier resignedly ducks back in her room as you reach the front door and open it to find Devin. I heard you needed a ride. And you got here rather quickly. Hmm. And yet you still have time to dress up. What, this old thing? I just threw it on. Mm, sure you did. Either way, you look, uh, nice. Just nice? Um, nice meaning hot? Can I say you look hot? I think you just did. Ah, uh, well then. If we're all set, let's get going. The booze isn't gonna buy itself. Not without a wine cellar, anyway. After a short drive through the old city, the streets, Devin opens up the door for you as you step in, in the quaint grocery store. You stare in amazement at the jumble of food, drinks, household items crowding every shelf. This place is very well stocked. Where do we even begin? He leads you to a row of shelves full of six packs and bottles of wine, some of which you even recognize. I've had the Bordeaux on the top shelf. The 94 was a great year. How many bottles do you think we'll need? A lot. As much as I hate to rain in your parade, each one of those bottles is like 80 euros. 80 euros? That's so expensive. Who's got that kind of money lying around? Uh, tell me about it. She says this is a princess, but moving on. Phew, note to future Rose, 80 euros is expensive. Why do I need to make a note when I just said that? If we want drinks for a whole house party, I'm thinking we should go cheap. Maybe something from the bottom shelves. You feel a cart with lower shelf bottles of wine, liquor, while Devin places an order for a few kegs. 
Thanks, Devin. I really couldn't have done this without you. Eh, you would have been fine. But without the discount you got us on the kegs, I think not. He winks as you help as he helps you wheel the cart towards some sort of payment booth. A woman behind it begins ringing up the drinks. All right, your total comes to. Ah, uh, want me to cover some of? Don't worry, I've got this. Good thing uh, Abilene gave me an emergency swap fund. You open your purse to pay and several hundred euros notes tumbles all over the counter. Except she may have gone slightly overboard. Sorry, let me collect those. Devin and the cashier stare as you hastily scoop them up. Uh, damn, Daisy, do you always walk around with that kind of cash? I can't trust the banks! <laughs> I mean, it's true, but... Uh, just won a canvas raffle! I got this from the Delta. The Faye always gives me uh, hundreds because they're easier to count. You hold up a handful of bills to demonstrate. As long as you don't lose any of them, I guess I can't argue with that. As a cashier takes a bill and counts out change, you look around for a change of subject. On a table filled with cups, streamers, and colorful lights. Oh my goodness, are those party supplies? Nice find. If this party is a big deal for you Deltas, it can't hurt to spruce the house up a little. I'd be happy to help set up some of the decorations before the party kicks off. Take it to the next level. They would look great in our living room. You can almost picture it. By the way, where's the before? Seriously, where's the before? Would the before just be your letters and no balloons, or... I don't know. Some decorations would really make the Deltas look good for all of our guests. Let's get them! Hmm, good call. Once Devin the Expert Decorator is done with your house, the place will really shine. You're setting a lofty standard for yourself. I plan to exceed it. Race you back to the car? Only if you're pushing the giant car. Oh, okay. Back at the sorority, Devin helps you carry the drinks and decorations inside, where a few guests are already lounging in the living room. Hell yeah, the drink trains just pulled up! Oh, uh, we got a lot more than just drinks. Astro, Sophia, Faye, get over here! You rang. Oh, uh, how were you so fast and yet so silent? Ninja. Your mortal mind would withstand the truth. See, ninja or vampire. Rather than attempt to unpack that, would you girls mind helping me decorate the living room? Party cosplay for our house? I'm so in. Faye, Sophia, you take this banner, and Daisy, you help me with the streamers. I thought Devin was supposed to do this. I'm just confused. Made it sound like he was gonna do it all, and then, you know. The Zetas and everybody else wanna help me uh, set up these kegs. I bet I can carry one with one iron! Okay. Would you like a cookie? <laughs> Seriously. Half an hour and a lot of hard work later. Like, seriously. <laughs> it's like a guy going, I bet you I can carry this with a cake. Okay, would you like a cookie too? All the decorations are up and the party is in full swing. I carried something. This place looks gorgeous. Faye joins you, handing drinks to you and Devin as you all scan the room. Oh, look, they're off to college, you know. High school story, people. <clears throat> I hope everyone's ready to have their minds blown, because this next mashup is something special. One, two, one, two, three, four. Leia and the rest of the band start playing a surprisingly catchy matchup of two songs you've never heard before, but the crowd goes wild over it. I love both these songs! I can feel the rhythm in my bones. You know, hey, how about you bring Sky into this while we're at it, you know? Wouldn't mind seeing college Sky now. Keep that music pumping. The more guests stream in through the door as the band continues their set. Is it just me or is there a lot of people? Uh, well, your stunt with the band really got the word out around campus. Although the energy level seems a little, uh, mixed. 
Faye gestures to the other side of the room where everyone who's not dancing to the music is milling awkwardly around, barely talking to each other. Pretty boring party, huh? Um, uh, sorry, I'm trying to finish a reading assignment? It's a party. Not school. She picks up a book from a nearby table and buries her nose in it, carefully scooting away from a cluster of thetas, which includes... Oh, oh, okay. All right, let me go get my can of hairspray and a lighter. I mean, what? Yum, this place is even more pathetic than I expected. Oof, not everyone's as easily impressed as the Zetas. If we're gonna save the house, we need everyone to see the Deltas have fun. That we're worth joining. Well, we can kick out the idiots then. The nice still young Faye. I'll use my uh, gregarious American hostess skills to make sure our guests have a wonderful time. And I can make most of being at a real-life college party while I'm at it. I'm gonna go say hi to a few people I recognize. See you out there? Count on it. You scan the room for anyone other than Stephanie, who looks unimpressed, and make a beeline for a girl in dark clothes lingering by one of the walls. Sad <laughs> Listen! You just waltz up to her and be like, listen. What's up? What's your favorite anime? And just, boom! Lights on. I couldn't help noticing that you look a little nervous. My sister dragged me to this thing and then ditched me. I don't have a single person to talk to. Hey, you're talking to me? That's a good start. I bet I... But I bet you have even more fun talking to... You scan the room and spot Sephia in the kitchen. Astra setting up the impromptu photo booth and Luna huddled against a wall with her book. I'm gonna send her to Luna. That's her over there with the book. Oh, so you think the social outcasts should stick together? No, I, I figured she was kind of shy and... Why does everybody think a goth and, like, silent people are social outcasts? I'm getting so sick of this, like, thing. That's not what I meant. Luna's lovely. She's one of the Deltas, just like me. That you'd rather just get rid of me by sending me over to her. I see how it is. Oh, my God. She turns away and storms off through the party. Okay, this isn't quite as easy as making small talk, Accord, but there's got to be someone I can help. Listen, you typically, with introverts, you know, people that are shy, like when they get in a group, they start socializing with one another, and then the group expands and slowly grows. You don't send a bunch of extroverts at the introvert, okay? That's not how this shit works. Literally, from a psychological standpoint... You stroll through the crowd until you see a group of Zetas who seem to be drinking their beer out of holes on the side of their cans. You know, because the hole on the top of the can is a thing. What on earth? Yay, Kaylee! Why don't you show those Deltas how to do a perfect shotgun? An athletic-looking girl punches a hole in the side of a can with a knife and downs the beer through it. And when she comes up for air, all the frat boys cheer. Oh, you again from carrying the keg by yourself. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all night. Impressive. Does this mean you're all enjoying the party so far? For sure. We love free drinks. But we were thinking the vibe could use a little oomph. You know what I mean? Um, how about I help you pull off a full fun party stunt? You all seem like you know how to have a good time. Oh, we could do some keg stands. I have no idea what that is. Other than the fact it probably involves alcohol. But when in Rome... I'd be happy to join you. It's uh, been a long time since my last keg stand, though. Oh, no worries. The boys will lift you so you're doing a handstand on the keg. And then from there, it's just a little upside-down chugging. That would be comforting if I'd ever chugged anything before. But my governess always said the best way to learn is by doing. I'm game if you are all. You square your shoulders and nod to the Zetas, and as you stand by a nearby keg, the crowd begins muttering silently around you. Dude, you gotta see this Adilda's over here doing a keg stand! In that skirt. I always knew Daisy had guts. Oh no. The crowd's confidence is infectious, and you grin at you, uh, signal for the Zetas to lift at you. Your outfit got a confidence boost. Yeah. 
keyword in that skirt, you notice that? I got this. Let's see what Daisy's got. You grip the keg and the boys lift you upside down over it. Kaylee opens the keg's valve and suddenly you're chugging beer for the first time in your life. Chug, 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 chug. I've got a chug. Oh my god. Oh. And this is why our uh, country is just... Wow. You keep going down the beers, Kaylee Trey, and the other set is gasping all. How is she still going? I can't let the beer win. You finally wait for the guys to let you down, and the whole house erupts in applause. Woo! Don't forget the burp. Daisy's unstoppable. That was legendary. I'm making you an honorary Zeta. You've got my full support from me and the boys. Whether you need someone to spot your weights, mix your protein shakes, or provide emotional support when life's too heavy for even the most ripped shoulders to bear. Okay, I like you. Um, what about getting this honorary Zeta more alcohol? Hey, two more kegs coming right up. Let's make this next one a race. Oh boy. Another keg stand and a lot of drinks later you head back into the crowd. People are laughing, drinking, and the whole house seems livelier except for Snippity DuPont and her cluster of Theta Minions. Oh, and that goth girl that stormed out. I'm sure she's happy at home. Probably went and Netflix and chilled by herself. <laughs> Listen! Just, yeah, no, shut up. Oh, we're not even gonna go into this. Lexi, are you seriously considering staying because of some tacky streamers? Look around, Stab. This is a college party. Tacky streamers and all. We're having fun, and drinks are actually free. I don't know what you're insinuating. Alice says a woman who charges a cover and to get into the house. Yeah, no, I hate that. You stroll over and try to look convincingly concerned. Don't tell me you're thinking of leaving, Stephanie. Oh, I regret it coming the moment I set foot inside your door. Oh, but you can't go. You're clearly in need of a good time. What's that supposed to mean? That you're a bitch and no one really gives a shit about you because that's how much negativity you just exude. So everyone would be better if you left. You've been scowling all night. Would it kill you to hang out with friends for a little while? I have been hanging out with friends. Your poor friends. <sighs> she elbows Lexi, who pipes up in a bored, rehearsed tone. Yep, Stephanie is one of my BFFs. Guys, we don't have to fight. Let's just stay and hang out with the Zettas. The Zettas with muscles is kind of hot. Don't they all have muscles? That's the best part. Ah, oh, fine. You can oogle the himbas for one more hour. Seems like Stephanie DuPont I can't say no to a good party. Uh, sure, we'll go with that. You spend the next hour dancing, drinking, and chatting at the sorority's virtues to any guest who will listen until... No, Stephanie is staying because she's worried that you, the rest of the people might have fun, and then everyone's opinion of her would change, and then her opinion would also be diminished. Daisy, we've been looking for you. Come play beer pong! Right, beer pong. My favorite. You follow her to a table where Kaylee, Devin, and a young man who looks oddly like Devin are tossing ping pong balls into plastic cups. As you approach the guy, you don't recognize Mrs. Wiley and a ball lands right next to your feet. Whoops. Guess I don't know my own strength. You almost committed a party foul by hitting Daisy. Ah, so that's Daisy. I'm Dash, Devin's a younger and much cooler brother. It's a pleasure to meet you. Devin's told me only good things about your family. I'd hope so. Otherwise, the holidays will be kind of awkward. Dash is in the Zeta. He's one of the other reasons I hang around campus a lot. Oh, enough talking, all of you. We're here to play. Finally, someone who gets me. You watch as Kaylee throws a ping pong ball into a cup of beer, which Astrid downs. Why don't you take the next shot, Daisy? Get some justice for me and Devin's team. I'd love to try. No pressure, Rose. It'll just be your first ever drinking game. How hard can it be? Really hard, because you've already chugged a bunch of keg. 
Devin gives you an encouraging grin as you pick up a ball and take aim. Show us what you've got. A cup. Why would I hit Devin? You calculate the distance and toss your ping pong ball perfectly, arcing it into a cup in front of Dash. Devin applauds. That was a perfect shot. Nothing but net. Or, uh, beer. He takes the cup and downs it. Dash goes next, arching the ping pong ball high. alley -oop. The ball lands in the cup before Devin, who chuckles before downing the beer. Master goes next, missing wildly. Good thing this isn't a ranked match. Ah, oh, well, time to drink. I gotta hand it to you guys. This party is great. I'm glad Dev talked me into coming. Yeah, I heard this place uh, about the place being, you know, the misfit house, but tonight's been fun. It sucks that school's gonna shut you down in your house, though. I wouldn't count us uh, out and shut down just yet. Yeah, if there's one thing I've learned from the competitive gaming, it's never to give up until the match is actually over. Truth. Who does this full of surprises? Is that what you drew? Is that what drew you to this sorority in the first place? Kinda. I wanted somewhere I could focus on my cosplay. None of the other houses scream, come make epic outfits with foam and resin. Ah, oh, what about you, Daisy? Hmm, what would really real Daisy say? I joined for the close-knit group, a place to focus on my studies, so I could live it up on campus for a close-knit group. I didn't want to fall through the cracks in a big sorority like Theta's. I want a place where I could bond with my sisters. Delta's for life! In before fist bump or hug, I'm one of the two. Why the sudden questionnaire, Devin? Are you interviewing us for one of your articles? I might be considering it. Before he can go on, dash elbows Devin playfully. If my brother here is done playing 20 questions, who's up for never have I ever? Astra and Kaylee immediately raise their hands and Devin chuckles. This is just an excuse for you to embarrass me, isn't it? Uh, yeah, obviously. All in favor of drinks. Over a series of embarrassing personal questions. I'm down to give you all a break from being destroyed at your beer pong. Count me in for the drinks and doubly in for the gossip. Devin, I'm game if Daisy is. He grins and fightingly at you. And even though you've only heard rumors about this game from Avalon, it's hard to resist Devin's smile. <sighs> Let's do it. I, um, never played much of my old college, but I'd love to get to know you all better. Well, same. Devin meets your gaze across the table for a moment, his eyes sparkling, until Kaylee whoops and pumps her fists in the air. Then let's go! I hate that saying. At Dash's instructions, everyone grabs a cup full of beer and heads out to sit on the front steps. Okay. Quick rules check. If you've done something that someone says they've never done, you have to take it around. Noted. I'll start off easy with one. Never have I ever pulled an all-nighter. Astro holds up a hand before anyone lifts their cups. Hang on, you're a third year too and you've never stayed up all night? How do you not stay up all night? Seriously. I wasn't even in college and I was pulling up all-nighters. Come on now. Sleep is one of your most of your muscles recovery after a workout. I get eight hours, not every night minimum. That's dumb. Even Arnold was like, no, listen, sleep six or less. I respect your dedication, and I've learned something new about muscle health. Everyone else takes a drink, and after a moment's consideration, you join them. I'm sure Daisy stayed up all night at least once. Well, that makes all of you so dish up. I was trying to finish a kind of costume that night before a convention, and my sewing machine broke. Talk about stress. Did you finish in time? Oh yeah, I won a cosplay competition for it too. Hmm, my story is not nearly as exciting. I just had to hit a lot of last minute article deadlines. Comes with a job. What about you, Dash? Trey and I drove to my mom's house one time and his car broke down. Six hours of driving and four hours of waiting around for a tow truck. A tow truck I found for him, mind you. Yeah, yeah, national hero, this one. <laughs> Dash takes a tea. Makes a teasing face at his brother while you weigh a daisy-appropriate answer versus a personal one. This is day Devin turns to you. Alright, your turn. What kept you up all night? 
Clapping. <laughs> you all were you all weren't ready for that answer, okay? No, um <laughs> just had to throw it up there. My grandpa Des had to hurt it back getting through a charity event. Uh, couldn't sleep because I was thinking about a cute guy. Hey, look, <laughs> technically, I'm not that far off. Um, I never stayed up all night cramming for a test. Never, ever. Um, I was very fortunate that way. I'm gonna go with hurting a bag of getting through a charity, man. Because, yeah, no, I stayed up for, like, stupid shit. A few of them got lost in a very big palace like building, and it took us all night to find them. My favorite was, uh, the one we found sleeping inside a suit of armor. You're messing with us. I think you'd had a bit much to, to drink. Believe me or not, but that's the story I'm sticking to. I'll go next. Never have I ever pretended to be someone I'm not. Devin groans, takes a drink, and before thinking about it, you do too. Low blow dash. That sounds like a story we've gotta hear. Fine, fine, if people insist. I got asked to cover this press event as an exclusive hotel last year, but I lost my journalist badge on the way. So naturally I tried to sneak in with a horrible cover story and an even worse disguise. Tell me you had a tragic wig on. A fake wig! And an even faker mustache. But I got the scoop in the end. I respect your determination. What I want to know is why Daisy drank. You trying to keep up your poker face as everyone curiously turns towards you. Uh, I'm actually gonna go with the li like deep psychological shit here. Aren't we all pretending to wear masks and pretending to be someone we're not? Whoa, that's deep. Weird excuse for you to take a drink, but okay. The secret to this game is you can actually drink whenever you want to get drunk. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, <laughs> why aren't you drunk? Why didn't you drink, Astra? Aren't you a cosplayer? Oh. Oh, this is true. And no, listen, bullshit. Important distinction between cosplaying and pretending. They are literally one and the same. There's an important distinction between pretending and cosplaying, but you make a good point. She takes a sip and raises her cup to the group. Okay, enough softball questions. Let's get real. Never have I ever kissed someone on the first date. Ooh, this will be good. What, she didn't drink? You decide not to drink, neither does Devin. But Kaylee and Dash both take swigs from the cups. Seriously, Dash. Who was she? Remember Kay from dance class I took in uh, high school? You kiss Kay, the contortionist, on the first day. What can I say? I touch my toes for her, and she swooned. What about you, Kaylee? Oh, it was a disaster. We were both 14, and she had even more braces than me. Oh, no. Oh, no, the braces thing. Oh, no. <laughs> I never had to wear braces. Like, I was very lucky, but, you yeah, know. That must have been complicated. I mean, even finding an angle. Yep, but, hey, our lips touch, so definitely counts. And we even held hands in the orthodontist waiting room. Oh. All right, all right. I think it's my turn. Devin shoots you a mischievous look before continuing. Never have I ever left the country I was born in. Not fair. He knows that uh, I'm Daisy, and I'm Daisy's an exchange student. Come on. You're singling me out. Mm, you were just on my mind. No reason. Of course, sometimes people are on my mind for no reason at all, too. Like when you zone out and realize you've been thinking of Matt Mercer for the past ten minutes? No, just me, then? Uh, whoever he is. I hope he's well, uh, worth your thoughts. He certainly is, thank you very much. Astro and Dash clink the cups together to drink, and in response to Devin's question, you do too. I think that makes it easy, turn. <sighs> so I can ask whatever I want? All's fair in never have I ever. It's up to you if you want to try and get someone to drink. Or if you want to learn something personal. He smiles at you from his perch on the steps as you weigh your options. 
Never have I ever wanted to kiss someone at a party, gone to the university in my hometown, street across a field. Well, two and three are kind of meh. Good day, they bring in the spice. A dash and Devin both drink. A dash, briefly glances inside through one of the living room windows through towards Faye on the dance floor. Ah, while well Devin looks right at you. She has a way of uh, making things interesting. I figure there's no point in playing if I'm not gonna win something juicy. Has um anyone been keeping score? Because I have no idea who's winning. Is your cup empty? That's the whole point. That's the best part about the game. Everyone wins, drinks, and... and friendship. It's really just an excuse to hang out and gossip. And you guys are aces at it. Yeah, I haven't had this much fun since the Zetas had a manny petty kegathon. Then you should keep an eye out for our other parties this year. Tonight was just the beginning. Mm, trust me, Daisy. We'll be there. Catches your eye. His admiring smile warms you from head to toes. The others lift their cups. I'll drink to that. The game continues, and you soon forget the rules as it involves in storytelling with inside of drinking. Eventually, you head back inside and find the party winding down. Everyone, I want to hear you shout Delta rules on three. Ready? One, two, three. Everyone in the house lifts a cup and shouts at the top of their lungs, Delta's rule! Yeah! House party of the year! The vibes in this place were next level. Anyone care if I take some of those uh, these drinks on the road? No? People can just slowly trickle past you and out the door. Every single guest is grinning and chatting about what a blast they have. Except for the goth chick. <laughs> I should have sent her towards Stephanie. Man, we maybe would have helped one another. I can't believe it. We threw a party the whole school is going to be buzzing about. As you admire your handiwork, someone taps you on the shoulder. I should probably head home, but I wanted to say thanks for tonight. I don't think I've uh, had this much fun at a house party since, well, ever. After that art show you took me to, I owed you a good time. Then I'd say you delivered. I'm really glad you made it tonight. I wouldn't have missed it for anything. Night, Daisy. I hope I'll see you around. Yeah, I'll say goodnight. You'll most definitely see me around. Good night, Evan. Sweet dreams. Evan gives you a quick salute before walking out the door and you turn back to the other guests. Daisy, get over here. You spot Kaylee waving you, surrounded by Faye, Astra, and Sophia. You rush over to join them. Is everything okay? Better than okay. Let me guess, you'll be joining us. I hang with the Zetas a lot, but I can't join them because, well, it's a frat, and I don't think any of the sororities were my speed. But if you guys are looking for pledges, I want to join the Deltas. You mean right now? Obviously. Nothing wrong with that. You and Faye share a stunned look. Two other girls sit all over. We want to join too. I'm Sandy, and this is Mandy. <laughs> Pixelberry was just like, we just need two rando people. Like, let's just, let's just rhyme their names while we're at it. Like, put in no creativity whatsoever. You seem way more fun than the Thetas. If you've still got spots for us, of, of course, you're all welcome. Why don't you all head upstairs and check out some of our available rooms? I call dibs on a single. As Kaylee races upstairs with Sandy and Mandy trailing after her. You exchange a look with the other original Deltas. This is unreal. We have three new pledges. And that was the most fun I've ever had at a party. I can't believe we threw it. I gave a guy an existential crisis by explaining the eventual death of the sun in excruciating detail. Does this mean we're actually doing it? We can save the house? I don't know about you girls, but I'm not about to give up now. Me neither. Faye gives you a grateful look. And the one person you know is just how much it means to you to be there. And she pulls up everyone into a group hug. Oh, direct human contact. Let it happen, Sophia. 
Just let it happen. It's a hug. Later that night, you sit in Daisy's room, talking to the one person who'll truly understand how much time, and the house party was even wilder than I imagined one could be. And the guests loved it so much that we got a bunch of new pledges. I really think we could save the Deltas. I'm so glad you're there. You might be exactly what they need right now. Do you mean that? I do. They need someone who can help them the same way, or make them make some noise. And it turns out I'm way better at royal balls than I ever was at college parties. There's a lightness in her voice and you haven't heard before, and you can't help smiling with pride. So, Clark's welcome ball was a success. Well, dinner was a hit. I didn't faceplant during any of the dances, and Clark was surprisingly good sport. Although I might have gotten into an argument with Lord Cecil about the involvement in states matters of state. Really? I told you to give him a wide berth. I try, but he makes himself pretty hard to ignore. Oh, typical Cecil. Well, if he insists on sticking his nose in your business, consider his official permission to... Uh, this official permission to give him a piece of your mind. You're... I'm the crown princess, and it's high time he learned to respect both of us. I can think of a lot I'd like to say to him over a certain meeting tomorrow, but I should let you get some sleep. I'm surprised you're still up so late. I'm sure you'll be ready for my historic presentation first thing tomorrow. That's tomorrow? Oh no, whatever will you do? You've handled the sorority life like a natural so far. But can you survive your first university class? Daisy's grade is counting on you. All right. And without further ado, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Head to the description below. Links to social media, Discord, if you like to support me and my content. Without further ado, let me just say the following. One, love your beautiful faces. Thank you for watching. It means everything for those of you who do watch and enjoy the content. Two. I know someone right now is furiously typing in the comment section about how just completely triggered or tilted they are by me making a joke about a goth chick who doesn't exist, first of all. Secondly, uh, I've dated two in my existence, and uh, they were really great relationships. And uh, yeah, no, one of them I split off from because I wanted her to go find someone she deserved. Right? And, uh, you know, the other one was one who we had a really great time, but she ended up just, uh, you know, basically we, we went our separate ways because, uh, you know, she wanted more. And at the time, um, I was just being told I had two brothers. Uh, well, at the time I was one brother, but then it ended up being two that were coming into my life. And I was giving up everything. I was walking away from everything, my future and everything else at the time. And I was like, no, no, it's going to be put on hold. And yeah, no, listen. People, she was smarter than me, let me put it that way. Um, in terms of, yeah, no, you, I know what type of guy you are. You're not going to walk away from your family and to come back to me and your quote-unquote air quotes future because I know how much you've been through. So, yeah, no. Um, <clears throat> pretty much. That was how we hung out, let me be honest. Um, we didn't like extra, you know, extrovert crap, right? It's kind of like going to TwitchCon, right? Hey, look, if you go to TwitchCon? No. No, I'm not. First of all, that would require the ability to afford flying across country to go to a party where you're going to sit down with a bunch of idiots. Um, not all of them, but most of them who just want to get, you know, drunk. And like the, the last TwitchCon they all had, like apparently people were like putting things in people's drinks and things were happening. So, yeah, no, I don't want to be associated with that garbage. Thank you, though. Um, yeah, no. No, I'd, I'd rather hold like a private event or something um, or send things out to people or, you know, you know, we, we you would have thought through the last past like two to three years, like content creators would have thought of better ways to intermingle with one another. And yeah, no, no, they didn't want to. They decided to sit in their own little niches as if this is high school and they never grew up and they've just decided to not like make new friends. And you notice how the popular kids are still the popular kids. Because most of the introverts, we don't know how to do this shit when it comes to content creation. We're like, yo, listen, uh, we'd like to get to know you and maybe collab a little. But yeah, otherwise, no, nah, I'm good, you know. Like, we're, we're, we know, listen, hi, introvert here. We sit and we keep to ourselves, okay? This is one of the reasons why we don't blow up in the world. Um, because the world still has not accepted us yet. 
right? Like, if we're like, yo, listen, I'm a little overwhelmed, how dare you offend an extrovert when really it's you aiming for the introvert and you're offending them and you're trying to change who they are versus accepting who they are. So, yeah, no. Um, before somebody types the rage in the comment, no, uh, listen, if you don't get me, and you're never going to get me, so you might as well save yourself time and wind and everything else and move on. Seriously. Like, I could sit here and, and l logically, like, beat you at browbeating any day of this of my existence, let alone for the next, like, 12 seconds. So, thanks for watching. Oh, love your beautiful faces, and, uh, yeah, catch you on the next video. Peace out.